First semi-final features some uh, impressive athletes who have won medals before. Philip Handler was a silver medalist at the last European Championships in the Netherlands two years ago. And Radislav Zlatanov won bronze there, as well as bronze behind Jason Smith in the World Championships in Lyon last year. They've been drawn in lanes one and two. Handler, first of all, for Switzerland. Excellent organisation of uh, last week's CAA European Athletics Championships in Zurich at the uh, Letzigrund. 11 14 is personal best set this year. Radoslav Zlatanov for Bulgaria, twice a medalist in this discipline. Two bronzes to his name. And for Norway in lane three, Vegard Dreikson. Personal best of 12 seconds dead set earlier this year. And a similar story for Petra Pondaro of Romania, 12.42 is PB set in 2014. Diego Sancho of Spain, 11.54. Now, he could be a very good prospect in this event. Daniel Wozniak of Poland. 96 is personal best set this year. Main seven, Tobias Jonsson of Sweden, again hitting the heights. Uh, an 18 year old, 11.57. And like Diego Sancho, a good prospect potentially. Vladislav Hrebenek of Ukraine rounds it off in lane eight. It's the first three who make it through to the final, along with the two fastest losers across both semis. Handler and Zlatanov have been impressive in recent championships, and they're both medaled at the last Europeans. Very rare to see a, a sprint race where lanes one and two are the ones who dominate, but we'll see if that comes to pass today. Sancho in five, Jonsson in seven, also good quality. No, it's lane two, it's Latinov, and though we're being held a little bit, Slatinov's lifetime best is the fastest of the lot, 10.83. Season's best is OK, 11.3. was on this near side, and it was certainly Slatinov who went off. Now, do they judge that as a full start? It is T13, so it's a minimal visual impairment, so it should be a green. And there's been a green card that's been shown to all the athletes. So Handler in one, Zlatanov two, Dragson three, Pondaru four, Sancho five, Vozniak six, Jonsson seven, Rebenek in eight. No, full start called now. This may be a red card this time. Well, they were quite forgiving first time, but as we saw, Yesterday in the uh, women's 100 meters with Volga Sinkovic, second time around it was a red. Potentially Daniel Wozniak, that was a Poland in six. <laughs> Officials are deliberating. And the color of the card is... There's a lot of red there. That's not promising. It's difficult to blend into the background when you're at the start line, isn't it? It's one of these moments that you'd like to hide and not be found. It is yellow for lane six. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Daniel, you survive. Don't do it again. You 
got the benefit of the doubt. There's no doubt about that, so he's still a eight in the field. Let's see if we can get things going third time around. It's Handler in one, Zlatanov two, Dragson three, Pondaru four, Sancho five, Vozniak still in six, Jonsson in seven, Rabinik in lane eight for Ukraine. First three, and the next two fastest losers make it. Third time lucky, and they're away, and solid start coming from the Spaniard, Sancho in five, and also Bosniak alongside him, and here goes Slatinov, looking very good. Slatinov and Handler, one and two, in lanes two and one. And a real fight on then for who picked up the third position, but it was dominated by the two inside lanes, and Slatinov and Handler, who have medalled at European standard before in the previous championships in the Netherlands, really did dominate that. 11.25, unofficial, the winning time. Slatinov taking it ahead of Handler and doing a good job in doing so. He dominated from around the halfway point, and he had points four over Handler in the end. It's quite a gap, and real blanket might have been Jonsson took the third place there, the third automatic place for the final. It was Vozniak. 11.81 just shaded it. Jonsson was almost there. Sancho just missed that also. Well, at the moment, Jonsson isn't showing up on the scoreboard, and he certainly didn't come last. Here we are. Well, there was no doubting that Zlatanov and Handler definitely took it, and Jonsson has just been given the third place. 11.81, he did indeed edge it ahead of Daniel Wozniak. Those three qualify, but Wozniak and Prebenek also have very fast times to the name. He dominated from around the halfway point, and he had points four over Handler in the end. It's quite a gap, and real blanket might have been Jonsson, who took the third place there, the third automatic place for the final. It was Vozniak. 11.81 just shaded it. Jonsson was almost there. 